thought I'd give a tour of what I've been working on the last month. This is a giant air handler made by train at the Sanford Hospital in Aberdeen, South Dakota. We're standing right now on the return air plenum, looking down through the grate where the air returns from the building. On this area is the exhaust. All the exhaust from the building will flow out of these dampers. They have electric actuators on them. Open and close when the building pressure warrants. And the air is exhausted out these barometric dampers. And they just flop in the wind. Based on the air pressure in this room. This chamber we've got the return fans. This is the back side. Isolation dampers. It's got two fans. Only one runs at a time. Uh, they alternate every week. So uh, one fan will run this week. Then the next fan runs the next week. They're also set up in case uh, one of the fans blows a belt or burns out a motor. Then the other fan automatically kicks in. Like I said earlier, these are the exhaust dampers. Uh, floor to ceiling, they're about probably 10 feet tall, like four feet wide. Here's the other side of the exhaust fans, return air fan or return fans. They're both 20 horsepower belt drive. Made in Mitchell, South Dakota, of all places. And the air from the return fans, if it's not exhausted, it's returned back to the building through this damper, which is the return air damper. If it's returned to the building, it's going to come into this chamber, which is called the mixing chamber. This is the other side of that damper. This is the mixed air room, mixed air chamber. Over here in the corner, we've got a couple track dampers that measures the amount of outside air coming into the building. It's got airflow rings. And if we want to go to maximum outside air, then we open these other dampers here. And that's That would be 100% outside air. All these boxes are HEPA filters that haven't been installed yet. Over on this side, I've got this contraption. It's a, uh, a mixer. It takes the uh, cold outside air and mixes it with the warm return air to make sure that there's no stratification. And that mixer is probably 10 feet high. Over in this chamber you see the other side of the mixer and also all the pre-filters, all 2 inch, 24 by 24, excuse me, they're 4 inch, 24 by 24. That's the control panel for it. That's what I've been working on. Over in this chamber, uh, these are the five uh, face and bypass dampers. Uh, it's kind of dark in here. Anyway, you see all the pipe work for the hot water system. We've got hot water valve right there. Regulates the hot water into and out, out of the hot water coils which are face and bypass dampers um, that enclose the 
hot water coil. And those open based on this actuator. So when we want we want to heat the discharge air, we have to open that damper and that hot water valve. Over on this side, we've got the humidifier. It's a steam humidif electric steam humidifier. And on the other side of the humidifier, we've got the chilled water coils, at least the uh, upstream side. It's kind of dark in here, though. That copper tube you see zigzagging is uh, free stat. In case the air temperature gets too low, we will shut off the system to keep from freezing the chilled water coils. <coughs> this next chamber is the other side of the chilled water coils. And they also have uh, the UV lights. It's a couple, bunch of three foot ultraviolet bulbs that uh, kill germs. Over here is the back side of the supply fan. These are the isolation dampers. And uh, similar setup, one fan runs at a time. Um, they alternate every week same thing if one of them goes down the other one kicks in automatically and this room is a supply fan room it's full of filters they've got uh, all these filters that they got to put in before we can run this thing and those filters uh, fit in this rack system here but this is uh, final filter so this gets HEPA filters HEPA filters are really expensive, so they left them in the box till everything's cleaned up. Uh, here's the supply fans. Both of them are 60 horsepower. So they'll definitely move some air. And it all ends here. This is the supply air grate. It all goes down into the building from here. Down through the 218 VAV systems. <clears throat> What's kind of neat about this air handler, it's got actually a hallway. A couple of Allen Bradley VFDs, one for each supply fan. Here's all the pipe work for the chilled water coils. The valves for those are down in the basement. Air handler actually has a basement. It's only about four foot deep, but you can get in it nonetheless. Got two uh, Armstrong humidifiers. We looked at those inside. Uh, this air handler actually has its own heater in it for keeping the inside of the air handler this little hallway area warm and there's two more VFDs for the exhaust fans return air fans another neat thing about this air handler is there's another one right across the hallway from it this air handler is actually two air handlers built into one single enclosure so uh, one half feeds the first floor, which has a bigger footprint, and the other half feeds the second and third floors, which uh, have a smaller footprint compared to the first floor. I just thought it'd be cool to do some video and let everybody see what I've been up to. So, thanks for watching. Bye.